Now, Stormwatch 12 weather with meteorologist Josh Culbreth. Welcome back to Newswatch 12 Midday. Right now you're taking a live, beautiful look at a clear sky in Grants Pass. This view coming courtesy of the Tap Rock Northwest Grill. We're already up to 72 degrees in Grants Pass. Most of us inland either in the 60s or 70s. And along the coast, we're still stuck in the mid 50s because of some marine layer impacts. So most of us this midday are dry, but as I get out of the way of Lake County, you can see we are dealing with some showers and thunderstorms in Lake County. In fact, right along that US 395 corridor, and we're going to have more of that a little bit later today. So we'll show you that with Stormcast. And you can see as we head into the afternoon, there's going to be more in the way of showers and thunderstorms, mainly for Klamath County, Lake County, and into Siskiyou County. But we should keep it dry for Jackson County, Josephine County, and Curry County as well. And then the sun goes down. It looks like most of the showers and thunderstorms will lose their energy. So that means we're going to be dry overnight and then into the first half of the day, the day on Tuesday. But then after that, as we get into the afternoon and evening again, we'll see that very small chance for sh for some showers and thunderstorms popping up for Klamath County, for Lake County and into Siskiyou County as well. Although this chance is looking a little bit lower compared to the chance that we'll have for today. And then once again, the sun goes down, will dry out and I think we can maybe go through the exact same cycle on Wednesday. Let's take things back to Monday, though, for your outdoor dining forecast for the Rogue Valley. And we're going to go with five stars for both lunchtime and for dinner time, just because we'll be so warm and we'll have so much sunshine. So for today, seasonal high temperatures will be in the 70s to the east of the Cascades, mid 80s for west side valleys and then mid 60s along the coast in Curry County, where the marine layer is ebbing and flowing. So we could see a bit of sunshine for today. And we'll have breezes gusting out of the north and northwest, gusting between 20 to 25 miles per hour for most of the News Watch 12 viewing area. And then for this evening, skies will go back to being mostly clear, except for along the coast. will be partly cloudy, and that is because of some marine layer influences. But elsewhere, mostly clear. Overnight lows will be in the cool to comfortable categories as we'll be in the mid 40s to the east of the Cascades. 50s for west side valleys and then pretty close to 50 degrees along the coast in Curry County. We'll be even warmer into Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and that trend just continues right into the weekend. So I'll show you just how warm we'll be over the weekend in just a second. But some very small shower and thunderstorm chances that we'll have left over in the Tuesday and Wednesday. But after that drying out and then we'll continue the heating trend we will be about 15 degrees above average for this time of the year by the time we get to Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So already start thinking about how you're going to be safe in the heat and already start thinking about how you are going to stay fire safe in all of this weather because it is going to be hot. It is going to be dry. So that means we have an elevated risk for fires from Thursday through Sunday, an elevated risk for a large fire start, which the National Interagency Fire Center describes or their definition for it, I should say, is a fire over 100 acres. So Matt and I will track that fire fuel data very, very closely as we head deeper and deeper into the week. Here's that seven day forecast for the coast. We'll see the marine layer starting to weaken as we head over the next couple of days, but especially in Thursday, that's when we'll finally have the breakthrough moment and we'll see more sunshine as opposed to clouds. For Siskiyou County, just a couple days where we'll have some small thunderstorm chances for Monday and Tuesday, but then into Wednesday and beyond will be dry. I think for the Klamath Basin, it's probably going to be on Thursday when it will be dry, but then after that, completely dry. And then for the mountains, we'll also pay attention to that Thursday and beyond time frame as we dry out and we heat things up. And then for the Rogue Valley, we could be flirting with triple digits come time for Friday, Saturday and or Sunday. Flirting, but not in a good way. No, bad flirting. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. No. Yes. You know, that 74 catch just looks like stairs every day higher. Yep. Uh, well, uh, Friday to Saturday, how about a little cool down from 99 to 98? A little landing on the yes. staircase. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Of course. <clears throat>